Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers taking on the Minnesota Twins. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. On the hill and coming off a great start, Bailey Ober. Chris, what are you looking for from him? Yeah, very respectable numbers last year. A sub 350 ERA. And you know, guys like that, you may think, well, they're elite pitchers that are pitching sub twos. They're dominating. But when you can have that kind of consistency, you know you have a chance to win the ball game every time he takes the mound. So, you know, good season last year. Opportunity for him to go out there and repeat it this year, possibly even improve. But I tell you what, if this guy's pitching for me and I'm playing in the outfield, I'm loving every minute of it. And here it comes. Oh. That one misses. And that is ball one. Three. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Miguel Rojas at the plate. In there and it's on one. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. That one just misses, and that's ball one. One out, base is empty. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, he's got great strikeout stuff on the mound, doesn't he? I mean, double-digit strikeouts in his last start, and he's just racking them up again in this one. This guy can really dominate a game out there. He, he steps on the bag, and the Dodgers are Back here with my pal Siggy, and on the mound in this one, Tyler Glasnow. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, last year, kind of around the league average in terms of ERA, and you know what? That's why you have the five different spots in the starting rotation. You've got to have people round things out, and not everyone's going to pitch like a number one or number two every outing or every season. But last year, he gave his team an opportunity and a chance to win every time he took the mound on average. And when you look at that kind of performance, it has a place on every ball club. Glass now, ready to deals. And there's a foul ball. And the right hander deals. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. And a pitch. That a just ball. misses ball one. Ah. Swing and a miss, struck him out, and there's one away. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him look in, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. Betts tosses to first. And a couple of quick outs. Two outs. Base is empty. Here's Royce Lewis. First offer misses badly for ball one. Swing and a miss as he was late. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball. 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. Just off the outside part of the plate. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. Gigantic blast. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. always wants to miss down if he's going to miss with the breaking ball pretty good pitch but just a really good swing on it he stayed down he got through it and he got rewarded well now here's 
Carlos Correa with a chance to hit. That one finds the zone. Oh, it's one, all one. And there's a fly ball deep right field. Taylor reaching back towards the wall. And it's off the wall. Safely into second. He's got a double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. He hit that ball really well to deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the trajectory to clear the fence, but one. you're always happy with an extra base hit. Alex Kirilov in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Swing and a miss. Cold night like tonight. Here, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what. You're going to try to catch things out front, so off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Hernandez makes the grab on the run, but the Twins strike first on this solo shot. It's now 1-0. Back after this on the show. All set for the start of the inning at the play. Shohei Otani. Right hey. through there for a strike. Who, who doesn't love to watch Shohei play baseball? I mean, voters certainly did when they made him the what? unanimous choice for MVP in the American League in 2023. It was an easy choice. He had that award wrapped up by August. Kirilov. And he takes oh. it himself for the out. Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. First oh, sorry, pitch just misses. Over a 6-9 righty. He features a four-seam fastball, a changeup, a slider, and he occasionally uses a curve. Swings through that one out in front that time. The one-two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. To a strong start, Singy, as he's punched out three of the first five he's faced. Well, he's definitely minimizing oh, contact. He can get the swing and miss when he needs it, but it'll also keep the defense fresh behind him, allowing some balls in play as well. Nice. And that's in there at the knees. Line drive, and there's a hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Swinging a foul straight back. And that one fouled off. Tying run is at first. You're in game one of this three game set. Up the middle, they take the force out. And that's the third. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the second. And now the catcher comes up to him. Brian Jeffers. Glass now. Back to work. Down the line. It's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. Max Kepler, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. So, here's an interesting note on Glass now. He's been known to look at photos of people he doesn't like before his starts. It's a way for him to kind of get angry, and then he carries that anger out to the mound to help him pitch. It sounds like a good strategy to me, but I wonder who he's looking at. In the air out to center. One away. So up next for Minnesota, Matt Walmer. Back to right. Taylor under it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough Batting to really drive it. No left Here's field. Trevor Larnick. Trevor. Larnick. First pitch misses.
swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Benny really <laughs> sells the changeup with that arm action. Two outs. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the inning. One left. And we're back. And now the right fielder, Chris Taylor. That one finds the zone. And that's strike one. Line drive. Pulls it in for the end. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting the line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right, but in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. That's in there, and the count is 0 2. Change up earlier enough, got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Betts stands in now and watches strike one. On the ground to the left. Fair ball. Around first, heading for two. The throw in. Betts into second. Turned on it nicely, definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. Rojas in the box now, no balls and a strike. The other way, he takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So the Dodgers leave one, they trail here. Back in Minnesota, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's a big power threat, Byron Buxton. And the right-hander back to work. And a foul ball. Oh, and two now as he swings through it. Oh, two with the count. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Here's the second baseman, Edouard Julien. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Late on that fastball. Ooh, you got to remember to take the donut off the bat, partner. Got the bat going too soon at strike two. Well, at that velocity, if that's all you're seeing, 88, you can handle that all day long. That's what you get in batting practice. But off the velocity of the fastball, that is a very tough pitch to adjust to. So digging in, Royce Lewis. He's already homered in this game. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. 2013 in the playoffs, you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet. It was my wrist and my hand. Two outs, bases empty. And down on strikes. And the Twins go one, two, three. Back at target field, start of the fourth. And here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. That's in there. One, one. You know, these Dodgers, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. That's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. Otani up to bat next. Lays off the ball. Swings and misses. And a count one and one. Swings through that one. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Double play ball to second. Flips it for one. On to first double play. Here comes Max Muncy. In for a strike. Going along. 
The Twins leading by a run. Top half of inning number four. Just missing there, and it's one and two. Just misses with that one. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Around first and hustling for second. And now the tying run is into scoring position. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch to the plate lately. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, That's but right ball. there it did, and he did it perfectly. And he hits a ground ball right side. Oh, a great stop from his knees to throw. And that's a nice play to end the inning. Making it look easy at the keystone position. Definitely worth another look. He'll get some high fives when he gets into the dugout. Back here with my pal Singy, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Carlos Correa. That's to third. Throw on to Freeman. And Correa retired. Here's Alex Kirilov. He's 0 for 1. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. That's out. And Two another ball. Balls, that one lifted to left. And it drops in. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Brian Jeffers at the plate. One for one with a single so far. First oh, pitch, no not play. close. Started a little too early. Strike one. One ball, one strike. Kirilov at first, one gone. Fouled off. He was late. And the righty deals. Not <laughs> even yeah. close there. And the count is two and two. Chase that time. Three. Swing and a miss struck him out. Not the best location with the fastball on strike three, but when you're pumping high 90s, you get away with some of those more margin for error. You know, the fastball has become such a huge strikeout pitch in the sport. I think a lot of it has to do with all the attention and emphasis on improved spin rates. These fastballs are just exploding out of the pitcher's hands and jumping through the zone. Yeah, everything came together for him. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Hard hit, right side. Betts whips it to first, and that is that. We go to the top of the fifth, and now it's going to be Teoscar Hernandez. Yeah. Fastball for a strike, and it's 0-1. Hernandez, a former All-Star, 31 years old, he joined the team as a free agent. Slings the first, out. and Hernandez is out. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Taylor, batting with one down, takes a strike. The Twins up by a run, and we're at the top of the fifth. And that is cut on and miss. And that is strike two. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. And down on strikes he goes. Two away. 
We're going to take a look at the pitch sequence of that at bat, and the thing to notice are the pitch locations. Every single one of them on the edges of the strike zone, and as a hitter, that can be pretty frustrating because you don't expect the pitcher to be able to make quality pitches one after another like that. And so those are tough spots to do damage in a great demonstration of pitch command, and it got him a punch out that time. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a night. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now, here is Trevor Larnett. Glass now, back to work. Swing and a miss. 0-1. Oh 0-1. Oh well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You gotta focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. And a swing and a miss. Picks up strikeout number seven. Back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. And now for the Twins, Byron Buxton. Breaking oh, ball shot. inside. 1-0. and oh. Bases empty one away. Last half of inning number five. On the ground to third. Muncie oh. sends it to first. That takes care of Buxton. So up next, Edouard Julien. He swings and fouls one off. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. He's in a great spot right here. Ahead in the count, 0-2. All four pitches in play right here, partner. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Three up, three down. And Back in Minnesota. New inning getting started. Here's Mookie now. There's a strike. Hit hard on the ground is short. And Betts is set down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Fall off foul. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. There's a strike. Bounce to the right. Whips it to Kirillov. And Freeman is retired. And we're back. Well, we go bottom six. And now for the Twins, Royce Lewis. The pitch. Swing and a pop-up. Foul and a play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. Have you ever caught a foul ball as a fan? Only as a broadcaster, not as a fan. You? I've been in many games as a fan. Three. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. No, that pitch wasn't even close to being a strike, and that just goes to show you how defensive hitters can be calm when they're up against an 0-2 count. You're just hoping for a mistake somewhere near the zone that you can get the bat to, but right there, he was clearly anxious. He was swinging when the ball left the hand. On its way to the corner. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. Ground ball off the middle. That's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Alex Kirillov, the next twin up to hit. One for two. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. And that one is lifted in the air. Hernandez settles underneath it. Puts it away for the out. And now the Twins catcher, Ryan Jeffers. Hey. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in walk. Oh, Tie my guy up like that, you're feeling like you are in command. Next pitch is outside. Into center. 
Hernandez makes the play, and that is. Target field. We go to the top of the seventh. And now here's the Dodgers designated hitter, Shohei Otani. Right through there for a strike. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Ripped on the ground a second. In plenty of time to first. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Max Muncy at the dish. Flips the corner. Strike one. So what we're seeing is a lineup that's just out of sync with the pitcher. They're guessing wrong and their timing's off. Next offering is in for a strike. Holding on to a one-run lead here at the top half of inning number seven. Nope. Next offering is downstairs. Right. And it misses. That's a strikeout. The string of the changeup. The batter now will be Will Smith. That one clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And the double puts the tying run in scoring position with two away. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin right. off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Now we'll see if they can pick up that tie well and start us over here in the late innings. And that's the third out. Bottom of the seventh. And now for the Twins, Max Kepler. Here comes a pitch. Foul ball. Fly ball down the line. Hernandez ranging after it. And out number one on the grab. Now it's the DH, Matt Walner. And there's the strike. Well, he threw that fastball right oh, by him. Gives him a little bit of confidence, but in the back of your mind, you got to think, is he trying to set me up for later in this at bat? And two now. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Two out. Well, kind of a weird pitch and a weird swing on that strikeout. It's just a slider that caught a lot of the plate. I'd say a very hittable location. But in the box, I think he just gave up on it way too early. And by the time he realized it was dropping into the zone, he just fires off a really poor swing. He steps out of the box as he asks for time. The 1 0. Swing and a ball popped up. Muncie gets under it. Makes the catch. And that'll do it. Caleb Fieldball gets the ball now. This is his first appearance of the season. Chris Taylor now as the lefty gets to work. And fouled off. And now the lefty, ground ball right side, tosses the first, Taylor out of the play. Those plays can be tricky, they're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. Hernandez in the box now, takes strike one. Good eye in that spot. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0-2 count. Instead, it's 1-1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. And now two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer okay. half is open. And that's in the dirt. Trying to hold a one-run lead, and we're at the top of the eighth. Outside, and that is ball four. That's a great if that. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Makes the grab, and there's two out. With a single base runner because of all the power, they are dangerous. Yeah. 
to tie this thing up or take the lead. Rojas in the box now. Takes strike one. Swing and a miss. And it's only two. Very solid inning on the mound so far here in the eighth. Holding on to this narrow lead. This is exactly what they were looking for. With the go-ahead run at the plate, you're in game one of this three-game set. Got him! That ends the frame. One left. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll. Roll into the bottom of the eighth, Joe Kelly. He's making his fourth appearance of the season. The pitch. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Swing and a miss. Slider got him for strike three. Now it's the second baseman, Edouard Julien. Struck out on just three pitches last time. And a foul ball. Kelly, in his 12th season, 35 years old, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. One down, base is empty. Swings through that one for strike two. Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. Alex Vesia up and loosening in the pen. Brazier, a right-hander, loosening up as well. One ball, and now one two and two. Hey. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And next for Minnesota, Royce Lewis. He's already homered here in this one. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. And Carlos Correa with a chance to make an impact with two away. And here comes Carlos Correa. The shortstop takes the ball. Count one and oh. Lewis off the first with two away. Oh, That's outside. Right now two and oh. He's been raking in recent games and a big reason why getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently and you see the results. That one's spoiled and the count now two and one. Two outs. Just this side, missed. Ball three. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Over to hey. first, and he's safe. Right-hander kicks, deals. Bounced out to short, into the outfield, base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second, two on and two out. And now the first baseman, Alex Kirilov, one for three. And the first offering is not close. the middle and that one finds its way through here's the throw to the plate it's offline the run comes in okay. not in time he's safe picks himself up at RBI once you get the ball by the pitcher there's a lot of base hits up the middle even on ground balls so a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit so two down so up next for Minnesota Brian Jeffers On the ground, right side. On to first. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. But the RBI single pushes across a run. Last chance coming up here for the Dodgers. And welcome back.
Give one to Ron. Gets handed the rock out of the pen. Now a chance at his first save of the year. Line in the pitch. That one in triple digits. It's been tough for the offense so far, but you can't get frustrated. You got to find a way to shake it off. Go up there and relax. That's the only way you're going to be able to put runs up on the board. Fires across the diamond, and Freeman is retired. Here's Shohei Otani. A couple of pitches and a quick out. And a strike right through there. That one in triple digits. Swings through that. Well, that insurance run in the bottom of the eighth inning was down. so good to add on, especially with this power hitter at the plate. If he goes deep, you're still up in the ball game. Really good spot to be in right here. Righty delivers. On a line, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. And now it's Max Muncy. First no, offering, and it just misses. With the tying run at the plate, here at the top of the ninth. Into the outfield base hit. Row comes into third. The tag, and he's out. In this situation, with a single to right field, the runner at first cannot try to make it to third. You've got to get back into this ball game, and every base runner counts. So it's their last chance in this one, and here is Will Smith. Pitch in for a strike, going along. Oh, triple yeah. digits on the gun. I know there are more pitchers that can reach that nope. now than in the past, but it's one still ball, impressive one. to watch. Muncy, the runner at first with two gone. On the ground, out to short. Over to first, oh, yeah. and that'll do it. And the Twins use three pitchers to combine for the shot. Well, his first save of the season is in the books, and that was a nice job of him coming in the game and closing it out. He's off and running now. Two nothing, your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambly. Thanks for joining us.